morning, I'm Sam from the Outlook Riding Academy and today I'm here to help you build your equestrian confidence and the key points that I'm going to be instructing on is how to lead your horse, how to go into a two point position and what the footfalls of a horse in gallop. So let me first of all call in my riders that are going to be jockeys today. We're going to use the theme Melbourne Cup. So jockeys come in and let's just see how you go if I was to measure you in height, would you end up being an average jockey? So an average jockey is 150 to 160 centimetres. So come up and we'll, how about we take your helmet off just to do your height. Yep, you're spotting, you're under 150 centimetres and helmet off. And just you're 100 and say 57, so you're still in what the average jockey height is that we're doing today is very inexpensive and just a bit of fun so that when you are teaching your riders the fun of the activity is what helps them take in the new knowledge okay so you're going to lead your horses and you're parading remember you're parading thoroughbred race horses so walking on making sure you hold the horse under the chin and the other hand is holding the end of the lead the end of the race. So, right, so ask your horse to walk on and just keep parading. You've got spectators on the outside of the saddling enclosure looking at your race horses, just trying to decide who will they back for their um, big race of the day, the Melbourne Cup. Okay, so now we're back to being jockeys, right? We've taken off the vests, and that was when someone was a trainer parading their horse. Now we're with the jockeys and the jockeys are going to ride the horse for the race. So jockeys, well done how you're holding your horse with one hand separating the reins and the other hand is on the end of the reins holding the reins up. Okay, can the jockeys now please prepare to mount and then I'm going to leg you up because I've already made your stirrups exceptionally short, okay? So just prepare to mount and then I'll come along and leg you up. Keeping in with the fun of these girls being jockeys, we also leg up instead of using their stirrups. Okay, girls gather your reins up and just get used to the fact that you're in very short stirrups today. Now because you're off to do a gallop in a horse race, you're going to have to do an unusual position. You're going to have to get out of three point and into two point. So at the moment, the girls are sitting in three point. They've got their bottom down, and they've got a leg on each side of the saddle. So one, two, three. So they've got three points on the horse. So girls, what would two point be? Only two points on touching the horse. Right, so we have to have only two points touching the horse. So what could we change? We could lift Up. your Bum. bottom up. Okay, so can you both show me what you think two point is? Terrific. And that's how you're going to stay for riding in the Melbourne Cup race. Okay, stay like that because the Melbourne Cup race is actually for three and a half minutes. So don't change. We've got to stay like that for three and a half minutes. The only thing is you're not staying still. You're galloping. Okay, how do you think that would be? Difficult. <laughs> so jockeys are obviously very familiar with this position and fit enough to stay in that position for quite some time. Okay, take back your three point. Great. And now we're going to leave the saddling enclosure and we're going to walk around to where I've made some barriers. So here I've created just some mock barriers to be again in the racing industry. Horses jump from barriers out into their race. So with the ribbons and the flags to create the special effect of it's the Melbourne Cup, I'm going to call my thoroughbred race horses up into their barrier stall. So um, can Spirit ride into barrier five and can Piccolo ride into barrier four please and get prepared for the Melbourne Cup remember it's a long distance race it's 3.2 kilometers and in a long distance race like that thoroughbred race horses are going to travel at a speed of approximately 60 kilometers an hour it's a distance race 
So, jockeys, I want you to now take up your two-point position and you are ready and waiting for the barriers to open for the 2020 Melbourne Cup. And you are off and racing. Now, as you walk back down, just long rein and let your horses relax. And also, you know, taking your feet out of the stirrups is a great idea. Okay, jockeys, throw your whips on the ground and I want you to dismount onto the near side. So, reins over the horse's head and get ready to lead your horse back to the yard. Congratulations, jockeys. Can you come in and weigh yourselves? Make sure that you're the same weight before the race as you were now that you've completed. First place and second place are just going to take away a plastic board and a cup that belongs to my family from some past history. <laughs> okay, so in actual fact, it's obviously money that would be more, more valuable to you, but that's all right. Now, let's look at what else is on the table to do with Melbourne Cup. Okay, in the Melbourne Cup race, Melbourne is in Victoria and the Victorian horses race anti-clockwise so that is going left hand okay so New South Wales is to the right like a clock clockwise and New South Wales and Queensland are the only ones in Australia that race clockwise now if you were in the Melbourne Cup and you were galloping you're going to the left so you're going anti-clockwise and now I'm going to show you what happens to your horse's feet when they're racing in gallop one hind leg two hind legs now the third foot down is your front offside and the fourth foot down is the front leg on the inside so this is the hind legs one two and then the front legs three four now the interesting thing about gallop is there's a point in time where the whole four feet are off the ground and you're in a period of suspension okay and that only happens in a gallop now also on this table, we've got plastic bridles because horses that have raced often get hosed down straight away. So a plastic bridle is not going to get affected by being hosed down. Jockeys wear spurs, only with a very small point. They're not that effective in racing because the legs are up so high and you just had a go at doing that. Okay, on the horse's feet for horseshoes, the race horses use a light shoe called the race plate and compare that to then a regular heavy shoe and you tell me which one you'd like to race in the, the race one. plate <laughs> okay so for the owner of the horse they're very interested in how their horse is running so they're back on the fence line watching the race but they're using a pair of binoculars and so they can zoom in and watch exactly how the race goes for their horse now melbourne cup is worth a lot of money there's eight million dollars that goes into the race and the winner walks away with 4.4 million. But he's got to share it with all the syndicate that's in with him, the trainer, the jockey. Uh, he's had a lot of expenses over the year. So there's a lot of people that also cut into sharing that money with him. But Melbourne Cup is for 24 horses. And here's examples of exactly what you did today. So you showed me beautifully that you could ride in two point position, that you could have your feet in a very short stirrup and ride with your bottom out so only two parts of your body are touching. And any questions from you girls? What did you think of the whole experience of trying two point, leading your horse and the footfalls? A bit different from how we usually do it with the stirrups. Yeah, exactly. Were you pleased to get your feet out and drop them down? Yeah. yeah I could <laughs> see <good>. that. <laughs> I could see when you were coming down, it looked good. And viewers, don't forget to like us and please subscribe. Viewers, we're releasing new content every week and please be sure to ring the bell and you'll be able to keep up to date with what's coming out. Until then, cheerio.